guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be reacting to we just witnessed nhl history i don't know what this was but i'm sure it's going to be amazing please like the video if you enjoyed it comment on the next and subscribe for more content let's get into it this absolute filth was elias Pedersen. Silky smooth from below the goal line. Takes Damn, it I back hadn't seen it. Whoa. it in. This, in what wound up being a four point night for Pedersen, would end up being the game winning goal in a 6 3 win over the Rangers. Just two nights prior to that, in New Jersey, after getting it started just 41 seconds into the second, it was early in the third, scoring the fifth of that game, his second of the night, making it look easy to make it a 5 2 game. This wound up being the game winning goal of that game. And finally, just this past Tuesday, another pretty one, scoring to make it a 3 nothing game at this point against the Islanders. This, and you probably guessed it by now, wound up being the game-winning goal in a 5-2 win. And so, tonight, as the Canucks came into Pittsburgh on a three-game winning streak, the question was, could Elias Pettersson continue his streak? In a game with huge goals, fantastic saves, and a little heat, this was a great game. So let's get into Crosby. it. Not six minutes in. Pedersen cutting back, holds up to the front, and they score. Watch this again. A fantastic little move from Pedersen here. Head up, just waiting for Besser, who's driving to the net and back door. They open the scoring for the 28th time of the season. Just seconds later, and Crosby swatting at the puck would get called mm. for tripping, putting the Canucks on the power play, and sure enough, Pedersen to Miller shoots, and boom. Not a minute after the first one, it's Besser again. Again, and the lotto line had six points in six minutes. Now, just a bit noteworthy here, Zadorov with a big hit on Smith, taking a closer look here, lays a big one, and as he went to the bench, he was not feeling good and would not return to the game. Then, with four to go, Harkins to Pedersen from way back, and they score. And it might shock you, but this one was not Elias, but instead Marcus oh. Pedersen with his first of the year, bodies in front, and it's a one-goal game. But it's not like Elias was done. Just a minute later, Hronik shoots, and surprise, surprise. Prize. It's Elias Pettersson in front with his 21st of the season and his third point of the period, making it a 3-1 game late in the opening frame. And with that, a busy first would come to an end, and so we'll head over to the second, where after three goals on nine shots, the Penguins with a goalie Jari. change as Jari in between the pipes to start the middle frame. And while the Canucks absolutely did not slow down, they definitely tested Jari heavily. He stood tall, keeping the Penguins in it with some fantastic stops early and so let's just appreciate how good jerry is how great of a goalkeeper uh goalkeeper he is that guy is one of the best sure enough going the other way penguins break out crosby keeps it and scores all the time and space in the oh, world man. he beats demko glove side and continues to put the team on his back making it a one goal game now with that crosby also tied mike bossy one of the greatest goal scorers of all time for 22nd mm -hmm. all time in goals kind of wild but immediately the canucks yeah. off the rush myers he shoots and it's stopped by jari flashing the leather with his 10th stop God. Nine minutes and then with five to go hughes would put it over the glass look at his face he knows immediately but with that said the pens wouldn't convert anyway and so ultimately after 40 minutes came and went this was a one goal game and that gets us over to the third, where five minutes in, face off in the Canucks zone, and JT Miller, the Pittsburgh native, gives Sid a shot oh. to the back, getting called for roughing, and Crosby was not happy about it. Yeah. two would share some pleasantries, and this kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. While the Penguins, again, wouldn't capitalize, the physicality certainly picked up, and after the penalty, the two continued to chat. This, again, went on for some time, and it wasn't long after, Miller, again, this time with Latang as they go down no penalty at center ice but oh, miller causing on. all kinds of mayhem getting under the penguin's skin crosby running hughes and eventually eller retaliating takes a bad cross-checking penalty on garland and so it would be the canucks to the power play and this time it was the canucks who wouldn't convert as jari was chopping down trees in front of his net but <laughs> with time taken away the desperate penguins pushing crosby in front to the backhand and what a stop from demko as sid couldn't elevate it just an 
unbelievable save here. And ultimately, it would get us to the dying seconds. Net empty. Carlson shoots it, and they score. Who yeah. else but Sidney Crosby in front gets it done again as he just continues to refuse to let this team die and with it, push this game to OT. And I love this kid. Look at the passion. And so with that, we went to overtime. And right off the bat, it's Miller and Jari with another nice stop. Then another one on Myers. On the other side, it was Demko shutting down Gensel. Then we had a three-on-one. It gets broken Damn. up. And the Pens leaving Pedersen all alone. He comes down and it's in. He scores, squeaking this one past Jari, five hole and in. And he does it again. His fourth consecutive. Elias Peterson becomes the first player in the NHL history to score game-winning goal in four straight games, road games. Okay. Executive game-winning goal on the road in what was another four-point night, and the Canucks take it four to three. Now, Pedersen, during these four games, has seven goals and 12 points. Just ridiculous. Now, as a Pens fan, I can say this one hurt. But oh, truthfully, I'm Pens happy fan. to even come you out. You see, I already love this guy's channel, and I loved his commentary. But now, I even love him more because he's a Penguins fan. Out of it with a point because, boy, this Canucks team just continues to steamroll. But, yeah, that's about <clears> it for this one. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I pre I feel like uh, the, the title, I was hoping for more when I saw the title. And... Let's just appreciate how good Crosby is as old as he is. He's in his late 30s and he's still as good as the youngsters. And let's also appreciate how good of a goalkeeper Jari is. I'm sure if Jari had played the first period, wouldn't have ended the way it ended. But it is what it is.